Look at that. Okay, get him, bro. All right. Bro, I can't stop him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video here at the Orange 22 Fishing YouTube channel. It is the best time of the year to be a fisherman in Delaware right now. Rocktober, man. The stripers are running up the creeks. We got all this rain that's come in here. They're pushing up into places they would never be before and feeding on shad, bluegill, everything up in there. So we're gonna be having a string of videos here on the channel targeting these stripers and catching them, hopefully. I think it's gonna be an amazing, amazing stretch to be a subscriber of our channel right here because it's gonna be just awesome, okay? I got nothing else to say. But in this video, I started off this series by going out in the rain in some nasty weather, cold weather, to catch some of these stripers. And you're about to see that right there. But I went out in the cold, in the rain. I had some luck. And then the next day, I met up with my boy Taven, who's a really good striper fisherman right here in Delaware. I will link his YouTube channel below. And uh, we went out and we, we did some striper fishing and I think it went pretty well too. So I packed all this into one video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Get ready because we are about to put on some of the best videos you've ever seen. There's not much like this on YouTube when it comes to creek striper fishing. So hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned. Let's roll this footage. Well, here we are walking through some nasty flooded water over here. This whole walkway is completely flooded out. We've had about two straight days of constant rain out here and the water is higher than I've ever seen it before. We're dealing with a high tide. I think it's gonna be at like five o'clock or something. Right now it's 4.10. So we're catching the incoming tide. A couple people already fishing down here having the same idea as me. And uh, we're gonna start out right here, man. See if we can get some of these stripers today. I've been out here trying to film this video for a while, so let's hope today's the day we can actually connect with some stripers on the end of the line here. It's taken a lot of effort. Maybe today's the day. A lot more windy than any other time I've been here in the past week been out here like three or four days maybe even five trying to find this striper bite waiting for him to show up again because they were here yep those guys down there are definitely going for stripers you can see they've got some big white swim baits on there funny thing is about YouTube you guys that make videos as well know how this goes you can go out trying to film one episode for multiple days at a time you say the same stuff to the camera day after day so it's like, I've already said most of the stuff I'm going to tell you guys today. Yesterday I said it, the day before I said it, the last time I was out here before that I said it. And I'm saying it all over again today, hoping that we can add some fish to the video. Does that make sense? Hopefully. This is definitely the coldest day that I've come out here, and definitely the nastiest. Stripers supposedly like nasty weather, which we will see about that. I'm going to keep coming down here until they show up, though. I'm telling you, once we get into a school of them, we'll be catching them almost every cast. It's going to be a real fun time, but you got to put this work in. Spend a lot of time down here without catching anything before you actually show up on that day when they're here and feeding. I've been struggling to catch fish lately too, man. I'm telling you that right now. I've caught like one bass and one striper over the past week or so. It's a really, really slow week for me. I almost forgot what it's like to feel a tug on the end of my line, man. It's been that tough. This right here, this is normally dry down in there. It's like a little drainage area off of the river here. Normally, even at high tide, it doesn't come up there. So it's kind of interesting. Over here, 
I'm going to show you guys something else. These rocks down in there that you can see, that's usually the top of where it comes even at the highest of tides, okay? Normally it doesn't even come up to the top of there, but when you add in all this flooding we're having, this is completely flooded out and underwater. I would even say if it went on to rain for another day like tomorrow, the water would be up to here. It's at a dangerous point right now almost. See if we can finally get something here, man. It's been a fun little adventure out here today, but obviously we need to catch something. Just gonna keep making our way around here until we find a spot that's producing. This whole river seems dead right now, though. Again, right here, spot that normally would not be underwater, but it is. You can see actually somebody was using a Cut bunker or shad or something down there. Hey, look. Not yet. They stopped biting. Yeah, I've been down here the past few days. Nothing's happening at all. I haven't seen too much action going on with the uh, shad either. No. That's all I've been waiting for, just to see some action, but. Nah, it's been pretty quiet. Yeah. Even at the house. Yep. Just got to put in the time out here and then uh, I'll get rewarded eventually, I guess. <laughs> That's the thought. Yeah, it's going to be nice the rest of the week, though. Yeah. But they haven't even been jumping at the house. No. Because usually they're jumping at the house all the time. And I didn't see anything. It's weird, normally weather like this is good for stripers, like they like the rain, high tide. And I always have luck with a, I use a minnow about that big, a green one. Yeah. Green and silver it is. Mm -hmm. It seems like they like that one for some stupid reason. Huh. Yeah, I normally use something like this, just a little silver thing, but. Mm. Yeah, my green one is long. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. As you all heard, I just talked to that gentleman right there that I've actually met a couple times down here in the week that I've been fishing out here. He says they've caught stripers out here about up to 36 inches, I think is what he said before. And uh, he actually owns a house down here on the river, I guess. And he was saying that they haven't seen any stripers being caught, any shad activity, anything for about the last week, which aligns with what I've been saying out here. It's just been really tough. They don't seem to be here right now, which is odd. But I'm sure as, uh, as soon as those shad and stuff start jumping again, we'll be getting stripers on the end of our line but until then we just got to keep putting in the work putting in the time we got to be here when that bite turns on it's always good to talk to the locals and find out what's been happening down here That's a fish. <laughs> Is that a striper? Let's go, baby. That's a striper. Oh my gosh, after all this time. They might be here. They might be here. Little dink, but hey. I was getting discouraged, man. I was about to leave. There we go, little stripey. Little stripey. Maybe that means more are on the way. That's all we can hope for, but hey, if this is the only fish of the day, I will take it, man. I put in some work for this guy. See ya, bud. Let's hope more are on the way. All right. We're gonna stick it out for a while now. We have some activity. That's one. That's one. All right, they're here. 
They're here. Let's go, dude. Yes, that's a striper. Let's go, man. That's a good one. That's a solid schoolie, man. Heck yes. They're here. This is what I've been waiting for, man. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, dude, they're going crazy. I, even as I have this one right here, I can hear them splashing around, going after Shad. Definitely an upgrade on the size right there, baby. Nice little striper. Let's get this guy released, get right back out there, man. They have showed up. I was about to leave too. Can't believe it. All right. See ya, bud. Man, they fight so hard. So hard, dude. They are absolutely here. With those first two, we got a really small one, then we got about a pound, pound and a halfer. See if we can keep moving up the chain with regards to size over here. But honestly, I'll take catching any size stripers, man. I don't care how small they are. They're such cool fish. That's a nice one. Crushed it in the same spot the last one I caught was. Yep. Another good one. Heck yeah. Heck yes. Look at these fish, man. They're so cool. So much fun. All right, there he is. I was getting a little bit worried for a few minutes that the bite had kind of died off here, but it's another solid schoolie right there. Fish are just so beautiful, man. They got sharp fins on the top too, unlike largemouth, so you gotta watch out for that, but they just hit it like a ton of bricks, dude. I can't emphasize it enough. They're just so much fun to catch. Back he goes. That's how you do it right there, baby. Because I was like, everything else is taken, like 302 fish. Oh, that's one. That's okay. one. Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Let's go, guys. Oh, that's a nice one, man. I mean, he's in the current, but he pulling some drag. Let's go. Look at that. Okay, get him, bro. All right, bro. I can't stop him. He's got to be over twenty. Yeah. 15-pound mono. I got 10, bro. <laughs> bro, he is fighting hard. Right in the current. He uh, got to be I, over I, 20 I inches. I don't either. Oh, I saw a flash. Yup. All right. All right. All right. That's a nice one, 20. Woo! I'm not going to force him. Play him out a little bit. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, nice. Bro, I love this that, spot. That's your PB, bro. That's probably my PB. Oh, that's right here, PB. Let's go. Five minutes in. Okay, okay. Get him, right. get him, bro. You want me to help you land him? Yeah, you want to land it for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, these fish are beautiful. That's a nice fish, dog. Oh! My boy. Oh my Let's God. Let's go. My boy. Let's go, dog. <laughs> oh boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, bro. That's your, I don't know. Bro. That's he probably my. He might be. No, nah, I think that's my PB, dog. Look at this fish, man. Look at that fish. We've been out here trying for stripers a lot. That's the biggest one I've caught this year by far. It might be my PB. I'm going to get him back, though. Yes, sir. Yes, bro. sir. All right, man. Let's get this thing Let's back. Go, Quick measurement, too. That's like 25, bro. He's longer than my measuring thing. Yeah, he's about 23. Look at that guy, he's a nice striper right there. Rocktober, baby. There it goes. You got one? Hey, yo. My boy's got one. Let's go. It don't matter, bro. All right, let's go. Let's go, bro. Quick appearance on the channel. Got anything you want to say? I'm outdoors. I'm on my way back. Yes, sir.